Ladies and gentlemen, erectile dysfunction. Now, this is a problem for men. So, mostly men who are diabetic, obese, or overweight, you will experience this uh, condition. Now, erectile dysfunction is basically the inability to maintain an erection during uh, a sexual process. So, if you initiate a sexual, a sexual process, and then your penis starts, uh, it cannot take like 10 to 15 minutes of erection. So, it starts shrinking back. Now, Erectile dysfunction has three major causes, and that is hormonal, neuronal, and vascular. Vascular to mean there's a problem with the, uh, the blood vessels that supply the penis, and therefore nutrients, oxygen uh, supply to the penis is, uh, is uh, compromised. Then neuronal means the nerves. Nerves that supply the penis uh, are also damaged, or they are getting towards damage. Then hormonal is basically the reduction in testosterone, which is the male uh, sex hormone. Now all these three come as a result of high content of sugar. So sugar destroys nerves, sugar destroys blood vessels, and sugar uh, inhibits the hormone that is called testosterone. And therefore men will start experiencing all these sexual problems, including erectile dysfunction and premature ejaculation. Now, most people, when they experience this uh, erectile dysfunction, instead of fixing the problem, they go to fix the symptoms. And they go to the pharmacies and purchase sildenafil. Sildenafil is uh, commonly known as Viagra. So, Viagra was designed to be a drug that was supposed to treat pulmonary hypertension. And that is tr through uh, our uh, stepwise procedures that lead to production of nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is a potent vasodilator. So once it dilates your vessels, then blood pressure goes down. So by chance, uh, this vasodilation effect uh, through nitric oxide is the one uh, that aids in a prolonged direction. So basically, this Viagra or Sildenafil is a phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor. So this PDE5 is an enzyme and enzymes are proteins in the body that help us perform different functions and also catalyze specific reactions in the body. So this PDE5 is the one that uh, is involved with different activities in your penis, smooth muscles of the penis. So once you activate production of nitric oxide, then indirectly uh, you, you also dilate penile blood vessels and blood gorges into the penis. So basically nitric oxide, what it does is it prevents blood from flowing outside the penis. So you maintain blood in the penis and that aids in a prolonged erection. Okay. So now I'm not telling you in this video to, uh, to, 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 to avoid drugs or to stop using drugs. If that is what is prescribed by the doctor, then you must have a conversation with your doctor and get to know. Uh, a way forward before you start doing or implementing what I I say So that should act as a disclaimer do not stop your drugs and start saying uh, I said you should eat or reduce your carbohydrates Yet uh, possibly maybe you you've been prescribed this drug for uh, Severe erectile dysfunction or you already have a pulmonary uh, uh, Hypertension so you can converse with the doctor, have a conversation, and get to understand what you'll start using. So basically, this is an indirect way of uh, getting uh, to inhibit this enzyme. Now, there are also other ways or other means uh, to also inhibit this enzyme, but natural means. But again, uh, synthetic means, we also have nit uh, nitroglycerin creams that act directly by activating production of nitrogen uh, oxide and or gas directly so they just produce NO directly and then you dilate your vessels and blood flows into the penis and gorges there so you maintain an erection for quite some time okay so that is uh, the, the, the cream then we also have people who use uh, L uh, arginine that is an amino acid there are synthetic products of L arginine and uh, also you can find L arginine in, in, in beef so this is a, a, an amino acid that can help you also boost production of nitric, nitric oxide directly. And those two have limited side effects as compared to Viagra. Okay. So 
what are the other natural ways possibly zinc uh, is, is 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 the highest in boosting testosterone and therefore improving quality of sperm and also encouraging a prolonged erection and zinc is found in nuts in the previous videos i've mentioned about sources of zinc and stuff and the advantages of zinc and i'll still mention it so this is one of the advantages of zinc in boosting testosterone and improving quality of sperm so those people who are infertile those people who experience ed consider high content of zinc and this is found in total uh, seafoods and uh, and avocado also in nuts you have high content of zinc and that is very important for you uh, for your development also uh, the pumpkin when you eat pumpkin make sure you utilize the seeds you eat the seeds too when you consume those seeds high chances of getting zinc and uh, you can get to reverse erectile dysfunction but again the major part of this is just to edit the diet and train so we'll go through uh, what you should do uh, to prevent or to recover from erectile dysfunction so the risk factors for erectile dysfunction are one aging smoking so aging basically people uh, who get to 30 and above your testosterone levels start to reduce by one percent every year so you might have chances of experiencing uh, this if at all you're not exercising and your diets are, are a little messed up then number two is smoking and alcohol alcohol is uh, highly estrogenic and therefore it gives you estrogen instead of giving you testosterone so you'll experience erectile dysfunction smoking is a very uh, big factor in all chronic conditions so it should be avoided by all means then obesity fat is anti-testosterone fat is high in estrogen so obesity definitely people who are obese will experience erectile dysfunction then you have diabetics mellitus dm always has to play a role in this because of obesity again and accumulation of fat also insulin resistance and high content of insulin destroy the vascular uh, so this is where vascular effects come in and uh, and also neuronal so diabetes mellitus sugar high content of sugar affect nerves they destroy nerves and they also affect blood vessels so it destroys the endothelial layer that lines the blood vessels and therefore blood supply and nutrient supply towards the penis will be limited and that will lead to erectile dysfunction so obesity and diabetes go hand in hand also stress sometimes people just get, uh, uh, people can't, can't can't maintain erection because they're stressed their mind is not into uh, into sex and they cannot maintain an erection so basically stress because this high content of cholesterol no not cholesterol sorry high content of uh, cortisol which is the stress hormone and cortisol encourages the release of insulin again we go through the same uh, channel of endothelial destruction and low flow of blood towards your penis lastly we have heart diseases now those people who have heart disease and dm if you're on drugs of hypertension for hypertension diabetes and heart disease kindly avoid viagra because when you use viagra and then the blood pressure goes down and you might end up in a coma so most of the people who would die uh, having sex because of the use of viagra is because of possibly a low uh, blood pressure that will lead you into a coma so viagra is not uh, advisable you have natural ways of boosting your testosterone and also boosting your uh, sexual ability without going for for viagra so there's a herbal product that can be the herbal uh, products that, products that can be used to boost your erectile dysfunction and uh, these ones inhibit pde again but they are herbal products like an example is the honey goat weed honey for honey so honey goat weed we also have for uh, foscolin then the black ginger those three are herbal uh, preparations that are available and uh, can be used to manage your erectile dysfunction now so what do you do now that you have this uh, we have this problem and we already mentioned the risk factors so basically the first thing you can do is to work on the risk factors but above all every body every man who is experiencing erectile dysfunction who has diabetes and is obese then you have to start fasting fasting is the major uh, player here why fasting because fasting will help you recover from insulin resistance from diabetes and these are the causes of erectile dysfunction so everybody tells you about uh, how to manage erectile dysfunction through drugs but nobody tells you about fasting and drugs and fasting also boosts your testosterone because every time you beat a challenge then your hormone uh, testosterone is boosted and fasting also uh, boosts your growth hormone and growth hormone is one that helps you build muscles 
is the one that uh, will help you burn fat. So it builds protein and muscle, but helps you burn body fat. And therefore, if you fast, you boost growth hormone. Growth hormone and testosterone go hand in hand. So you'll start burning fat. And fasting can go hand in hand with keto diets. So you have to drop carbohydrates completely to, to recover from DM and obesity. And also drop alcohol and smoking. Because you realize once you smoke, barley is full of, uh, is, is, is basically a carbohydrate. So it accumulates on your tummy and brings you this central obesity that is uh, uh, the beginning of insulin resistance. So now if you've been following through, you realize that erectile dysfunction will come as a result of a chronic condition or insulin resistance. So basically we are trying to solve the cause and then the symptom will disappear. So basically this looks like a symptom of insulin resistance. So fasting will, dis will, will, will help you uh, recover from insulin resistance and therefore you will recover your sexual prowess. Number two is herbal preparations. I already mentioned the black ginger, the honey uh, goatweed, and uh, the phoscholine. Those are herbal preparations that inhibit the enzyme uh, phosphodiesterase 5, and therefore that will, uh, will give you, uh, uh, will boost an increase in nitro nitric oxide, and therefore you'll erect without using drugs. And these are uh, products that have limited side effects. Then exercise. Now, on exercise, you don't just walk in a gym and start running on a treadmill. If you're obese, first of all, fix your kitchen, lose weight. After losing that fat to an appreciable amount, then that's when you can walk into the gym. Remember, your body weight, the upper body is already heavier than the lower body. So if you walk into a gym and you want to train so hard, you'll be excited, your upper body will be exerting pressure on your joints and your extremities. And therefore, you'll be trying to lose weight and come out with arthritis. Now you'll run away from the gym. You will never go back because it's so painful. So you'll think that exercise is the one that is making you feel that way. And in real sense, yes, it's an indirect way of getting into arthritis. So make sure you fix your kitchen, uh, lower carbohydrate intake, concentrate on high protein because protein is uh, the ones that have uh, uh, the muscle, they build the muscle. And then concentrate on high fat content because animal fat will give you cholesterol. And this cholesterol is the one that is the mother to the hormone testosterone. So we want a high content of cholesterol so that you can boost uh, or you can form or synthesize high content of testosterone. So erectile dysfunction will come as a result of low content of testosterone and our aim is to boost testosterone. Once we boost testosterone, this one disappears. So exercise, when you go to the gym, concentrate on weight exercises, lift heavy, do squats, heavy weight, do uh, bubble rows, uh, you can do uh, deadlifts, and pull up bars and also uh, the bench press. Those are the exercises that involve heavy lifting. You don't need to run on a treadmill because even running, you now again start lowering your testosterone levels. So here you do the big six and I've been mentioning them all the time. Now reduce stress. Again, we said cortisol is one of the hormones that bring uh, insulin and then you get insulin resistance and then you get diabetes and then erectile dysfunction. So avoid stress by all means. Don't go ahead to have sex with the intention of just ejaculating. I already mentioned so much about uh, semen retention. And it brings problem. When you say semen retention, the people ask you, why are you having sex if you cannot ejaculate? Now, semen retention is here. Semen retention will help you even fight uh, erectile dysfunction. Now, semen retention is, is just a way of trying to control your mind. You, you take control over your mind. So you have sex, you get an orgasm, then you get an ejaculation afterwards. So when you have sex, don't go with an intention of just having sex to ejaculate. Go with an intention of having sex uh, as, a, as, as, as a moment. Okay? So if you, go to have, if, you, if, you, if you go ahead and have sex with the intention of ejaculation, then premature ejaculation will come in. And uh, you might never erect again uh, with the same woman. So basically, practice semen retention. It trains your mind to to get to understand the basics of sex for sex and uh, also to control yourself and uh, again retaining semen boosts your energy and mental clarity so you don't have to ejaculate in every uh, possible uh, uh, can i call it a hole or what you don't have to preserve your semen that will help you boost your sexual energy then there is a, a, a procedure called low intensity shockwave therapy. This is a use of uh, shockwaves. So <laughs> this word shockwave uh, shocks people. 
So people tend to think this is a very dangerous procedure. It has no side effects actually. And it can be used to do uh, other procedures. It can be used for tendinitis and it can also be used for uh, to fix kidney stones. So it breaks down kidney stones. So it, the, the intensity varies. You don't uh, give high intensity of the power uh, when you're doing sexual uh, erectile dysfunction procedures and even the kidney stone procedures. So you, there are different intensities under which this procedure is performed. And uh, this one can help you boost your testosterone. But uh, remember, above all, you need good sleep. Now, sleeping activates your parasympathetic uh, nervous system. And parasympathetic nervous system is the one that plays a role in, erect, uh, in, in uh, erection. So if you, you are nervous, it's hard for you to erect. That is the sympathetic system. So parasympathetic gets you relaxed and gives you an erection. Now, again, uh, the sun. That is natural vitamin D. Vitamin D uh, boosts your testosterone. It's a hormone. Vitamin D is a hormone, actually. So it helps you boost your testosterone. So men should, in, should sun their balls. Just go into the midnight, midday sunlight and sun your balls. Relax and uh, let the body sink in. So, erectile dysfunction is basically a function of uh, insulin resistance. So once you fix insulin resistance, then you fix your erectile dysfunction. And we'll keep mentioning the ways to fix insulin and insulin resistance and diabetes in, in general. So basically, appreciate this and start practicing it. Start by fasting. We'll see you in the next.